Okay, I just stepped out into the store for a little bit at a guest stop. But I'm uh, set for 38 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, I just started the car, so it's already back at 39 Fahrenheit using 12.0 volts on eco mode. Staying cold, traveling. You're at Bucky's. Hello friends. Hey, I just want to talk about the Vosge RV cooler. I've had it for over seven months now. I've used it in hot, cold, in all conditions and places and portable places and even in the rain. Check it out. Okay. Again, the cooler is a 23 quart cooler and you can get them in a bunch of different sizes and I think their max one is 50 58 which works as a freezer and a cooler all in one where this one it's vice versa you can either use it as a cooler or you could use it as a freezer but it comes with your standard AC adapter which is on the side I'll show you in a minute and then also your DC which goes into your cigarette lighter plug is on this side the motor side right there DC 12 24 volt okay I won't go into great detail on the uh, fridge cooler freezer but uh, you can look at the manual as well. I'll leave a link to that as well. But uh, basically, 12, 12 volt, 24 volt power outlet. It has uh, exterior handles on each side. I'll get more into that later. Control, control panels is digital display. It has seal rubber ring. Get that right there. And I tell you guys, that's, that's held up real nice. Also has a little display here for food preferences as far as how to keep it cool. Um, on the 23 quart, it does not have a divider. Um, the ones up from that do. Personally, I just think that would get in the way, but that's just personal preference. Has a little chain to keep it from going over and tumbling over. And it's also magnetic, so it it holds really good and stays like that as far as your digital display pretty self-explanatory let me get a little closer uh, I hope you can see the display but it's just a matter of powering up hold for three seconds here it beep turns it on well since I've been using this it has a memory to where it'll go back to the degree you had it prior which is pretty nice whether you turn it off or unplug it but you can hear the compressor already kicked in you can barely hear it but as far as the display right now it says 95 degrees yes it is a hot one here in Tennessee but believe it or not this will be down to 50 degrees in less than 30 seconds it's pretty quick probably because it's a 23 quart so it doesn't take very long to cool off it also has eco switch second one down and of course to unlock this screen you have to hold down the menu button to unlock everything which it says right here unlock seconds three seconds to unlock and then you can use the rest of the settings has a switch for max or eco for saving energy and battery life temp control here Fahrenheit switch here and what we just talked about unlocking it and then your menu menu mode you hold three three seconds for that as well okay I was just going to show you this as far as changing the temperature hold the menu it clicks and then you can control here minus 
You hear the fan kick in? Wherever you want, you can control it from here. I'm going to leave it at 38. That's kind of where I like it, where my drinks are super cool, but not quite frozen. At 90 degrees, well, 89 now, Fahrenheit. And the time is 4.39 right now. Let's see how long it cools to 38 degrees. All right, as you can see, it's 5.04 now, and we're at 34 degrees. I'm sorry, 35 degrees. So a little over half an hour it took. And I'll show you, here's, here's a rug of water that's warm from the house. And here's the other ones that are really cold. You can tell, look at the, the fog there on it. Mist. Great cooler. I guess the only negative thing I can even say about this fridge is the handles. They could be a little deeper as far as grabbing. Because once you got weight in there, it's a little heavy. It puts a lot of stress on the fingers here. I mean, not terribly bad, but if a person with arthritis or something, that could be a problem. You could put handles on it, which some do in the bigger ones. But then again, I like the slim, flush side of it to where it'll fit better in your vehicle. So you're probably wondering, well, if you have a camper with a fridge, why do you have an extra fridge? Well, I'll show you. Inside the camper, it's not a very big fridge, as you can see. Also has a little freezer up there, which works nice. But one, I like to have a backup, because I have noticed with this vehicle being 20 years old, when it's really hot, it struggles a little. Not terribly bit, but it does struggle a little bit. But this part I can use as a fridge while using the board. Boge RV fridge as a freezer. That way I have frozen meats and even frozen ice cream. So this is one of the reasons why I went with the 23 quart. So I could fit it not only in my camper van, but I can also fit it in my minivan. This chair also turns around and it turns as a lounge where I can set my drinks on top of there as well which is kind of nice and convenient. Another reason why I went with the 23 quart is I can put it in the back of the van. That way I can run a plug up to my entertainment center here and run DC 12 volt. So that works out pretty nice too, it's out of the way. I do have an outlet as well right here by my heater and I can reach the extension from there to either side of the back of the van or front of the van. I did want to show you this. I just have a battery jumper slash tire inflator, raft inflator, but you have 12 volt here and you got your regular AC. And I got it plugged in here. Just gonna turn this on. There it goes. You can run it off of an external battery. I can usually get a few hours using that, but I would recommend, you know, a Jackery or other power station other than just a general Schumacher, which I have, which has come in handy. It just doesn't last real long as far as power. So yeah, true testimony here. Borge RV cooler and freezer. It's worked like a champ for the last seven months. If this is something that interests you, check out the link below for your discount. Helps the channel a little. No cost to you, but a discount. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye.